What's up guys, welcome back. Um, we are out on the Straits of Mackinac today. We spent last night driving up through a winter storm warning. Um, that was super bad and very slow. Um, I think we got up here in like six hours and it should have taken four and a half, so. Um, yeah, but we made it up here today. Uh, we just got set up. It's about noon right now. Um, we're sitting in 60 foot of water um, on a little bit of a break that goes kind of dwindles out to about 80 foot. Um, I'm starting with this guy right here, a little underspin with a 3.3 Kytec, uh, straight white. And the species we're after today is the lake trout. Neither Ian or myself have ever caught a lake trout, so it's definitely gonna be interesting. Um, that being said, we don't really have the technical gear we probably should have. So that aspect of today should definitely be interesting as well. We're using like 30, 32 inch walleye rods. So we're definitely on the lighter end of the spectrum. And if we hook one, um, we're probably gonna get worked. So. We're just gonna roll with what we got for now, but if we hook into one, it definitely should be interesting. So we're making do with what we got. Without further ado, let's see if we can get a lake trout. That was a fish? Yeah, he's on it. He's on it. Real. Where is he? He's he's looking. Looking. Got him? No. Oh my gosh. Got him. Careful, don't break your rod. Oh my gosh. Okay, loosen up your drag. Nice job, nice job. You're good. You're good. Take it. You're gonna have to baby and that rod is puny. Yep, just take your time. Dude, that was so sick. Take it, dude, loosen up. I did. Your rod's breaking. Oh, ah. Bend it down more. Bend it down. Bend it down so it doesn't bend as hard. You're gonna have to let him go. It's broken. You're good. I know. You jacked him, dude. Just let him go. Just let him keep going. Don't pull on him too hard, dude. Your rod's literally breaking. You can't horse him at all. You're gonna have to fight him forever. Look at how deep he is. He's down. Is that you? Yeah. Okay. He's like the the lines in the ice. Can you get it out? Oh, it you is. see? It? Yeah. Okay, you're good. Okay. I just switched to a jigging wrap. Did you? Yeah. Dude, that's a big, big fish. Real. Your rod's broken. It's going to take you forever to get him. <laughs> He's 68 feet down. There's my spin bait. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't think we're moving anymore. Yeah. This is going to take forever. We might have to drill another hole. No, you're good. This fish is huge, dude. Just careful. Your rod is literally broken. I know, it shattered. <laughs> Careful, don't pull on him hard. I'm not, I'm not. It's going to take forever. Because we don't have the equipment for it. It's that <laughs> simple. We didn't want to buy the equipment. So we just used our beefiest walleye setups. Uh, see that? Oh, yeah. The hole is the scariest part. You're good. It's going to be a minute yet. He's still about 30 feet down. I see him. Oh, my God. Is he huge? Oh, my gosh. You're good. Take, take your time. <laughs> He's a really good one, dude. Is he going to fit in the hole? Yeah. Look at him. You can see him under the ice. That's so, so cool, dude. Keep playing him. I keep those side cheeks. Just stay all right. Careful, careful, careful. Take your time. He's not done yet. I know. Okay. Come on. You're good. You're good. good. Take your time. I'm going to have to help him. No. No. He's right here. Look. Mm, my. He was 35, 40 we should really inches. drill a second hole. Well, and the jigging wraps aren't the best for. Uh... No, and he was on the trail. Yeah. Too. I watched yeah. him cough. He coughed up a bunch of smelt right when he dumped it. It was yeah. right on the hooks out too. He jacked him. I, it well, just snapped. I, well, I was like, I just kind of went like this. I had my drag tight. I've never seen like, a rod bend like, like that. Like tight. And the whole entire rod was bent over at the cork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you need, need a lake trail rod too someday. Yeah. And a bigger hole. Probably mm -hmm. drill, a, drill a double hole. Yeah, well, let's do that right now. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Well, 
as you can tell we've made the necessary adjustments we now got triple holes which is probably what we should have started the day with and uh, that probably would have helped us land that fish so now that we can do about it now we're gonna learn from our mistakes and hopefully get another chance at a big fish so we're dropping back down now i'm gonna stick with a swim bait um you still got that jigging wrap on i'm assuming yeah so yeah we're gonna get back after it and hope to get another chance or two I mean, that was the only mark we saw since you guys left. Literally the only one. So I, oh, here comes one. Wait, 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 wait. He's coming on yours. Oh, he left. Still might. Oh, he's back on the bottom. Dang it. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, he's a big one, dude. Oh, he's gonna eat yours right here. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. He's on, he's on both of ours. Come on. He's on yours. He's all over yours. There he is. Yes. Nice job, dude. They love that bait. Do you, you got any sharp edges? I don't know. Nice job, dude. That played perfectly. He's way down. He's on the right side. Yeah. That triple hole helps a ton, though, with, like, angles for that current. Not long after, guys, at all. No! No way. Did it catch on the ice? No. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, I am making the switch. That's all I needed to see to uh, tell me that they prefer this little, is it a jigging wrap? Size 7 jigging wrap over that swim bait. This looks like a little baby perch. That's the ticket, so hopefully I can get hooked up here and we can successfully land them. We had that one right up to the leader. I don't have a clue what happened. It didn't catch on the ice. He, I don't know. He must have just head shook it off. Mm -hmm. Never even saw that one. It was weird. Really big head shakes. No big runs like the first one, but we're trying to learn from each encounter, mistake, uh, whatever you want to call it. I could do there. No, didn't break the rod that time, so I guess things are going better. So we're going to get back down. Here we go, here we go. Yeah? He's little. Here he comes. Coming to you, Kyle. Yep. He's really small. He's going over to yours. Yep. I'm dropping. Yep. Oh. Come on. I'm dropping right on him. You're there. He's swimming away. Gosh, I was flying the drone, guys. The drone is up and a fish came in. Here, I'm gonna put this in your chest. You're good. Okay, I gotta land this. Oh, I'll figure out the drone later. I think this was rolling though. Come on, Lord, help us land this fish. I'm just pull it out down so it's not careful. Your, your thing's on. Oh, it's hooked. Okay, okay, you're good. You're free. Don't put so much pressure. Careful. Careful, careful, loosen up. Okay, I'm loosening. Let's go! Oh, man. Little guy. Okay, Still good. Off. All right, I got to land this drone. Thank you, Lord. That feels good to grab. Yes, it does. I just got the active target reset. Yeah, I was literally flying the drone all Alrighty guys, it has been a grind today. Finally got the first one. It's by no means a big one. Definitely the smallest mark we've seen and the smallest one that we've hooked up all day. Rotate them a little bit down. Not the size of the first two we lost, but a beautiful fish nonetheless. Quick little update for you. It's probably about 5.30 right now. And then all of a sudden, uh, Lioscope died, and, or Active Target, excuse me, died. Um, and we had to swap out batteries, so I thought, all right, this is my chance to like get the drone up, get a couple sun sunset shots. So I do that, and of course, in the little five minute span of uh, 
taking the drone out. Um, we had another fish come in right as Ian plugged in the second battery. It wasn't ideal, but we got to eat on camera and we successfully landed a lake trout, um, like we said earlier. Unfortunately, it was about a quarter of the size, maybe a third of the size of the other two that we had up to the hole. So as soon as we put the drone up or any other distraction, they come on in. So we're gonna stick it out the last hour or so, 45 minutes, and yeah, we'll give you guys any updates if anything exciting happens. Ladies and gentlemen, a little mid-morning update for you. We have fished for over an hour now without marking a single fish. Hopefully we can get a couple fish to come in here or a fish to come in here. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to start nap shifts, as you can tell by Ian posted up. So one of us is just going to fish and scream if the fish comes in. And yeah, we shall see. Should be interesting. Hopefully something happens. Ian, one's coming in. Oh my gosh, come on. Whew, okay, so uh, give you guys a little update here. Buddy was passed out for probably a good 20 minutes, and I was actually ripping a Netflix show, and all of a sudden, big fish came in, cruising the bottom, came up and looked at my bait, but it, it didn't commit like the other ones were where they like fly right up on it. I tried to raise him and he didn't go. And he just uh, continued along the bottom. So encouraging sign, but it did take a long time to mark the first fish. So here's a look at that little underspin. I'm just gonna give this guy a whirl. See if they react any better to this compared to that size seven jig and wrap that worked so well yesterday. I really like the action of this. And that underspin should give it a little more calling power. Look at how bright it's getting down there, dude. Mm -hmm. With that sun, that's insane. How deep am I? Three. Thirty? Mm-hmm. You can still 35. see it. Clear as day. Forty. I still see it. You're at fifty-five. Now you're on the bottom. Yep, I can still see it. No way. It's crazy. Like clearly. Oh fish on it. All over it. Yeah, yeah, he's coming up. Oh my gosh. Did he get off? Yeah, he did. Oh my gosh. Go back down, he's still there. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, that was quick. Uh, is he on it? No, he's over here. Oh my gosh. Did you see him? Oh, I watched him. I had a heart attack. We fished for two hours without a thing. He must have just watched it fall. I had him too. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. You could see the fish. Oh, yeah. That's so All awesome. of a sudden, I saw the tail flash, and I was like, hold up. And I lifted, and then I saw him coming right up. I kept right, like... Well, you were like, there's a fish. Yeah, because like, I wasn't no even way. looking. Oh, yeah, the session just died, guys, but that was unbelievable. I like that change. I'm going to set my drag harder, because you really got to jack these fish to get that big swim bait hook in there. We're going to get a new session on the uh, active target for you guys. And... Uh, yeah, that's a really positive sign. I'm glad that that boy was rolling. That's three fish now in the last about 45 minutes. Good walleye rod. Was. It was a good walleye rod. All right, I guess I'll bring you a good look. Going down for a minute. Give me that chair. I think he's going back down for his mid-morning nap. Fish, 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 fish. Oh, he's all over yours. See him? Yep. Here he comes, here he goes. 
Oh, he missed it. Is he back on it? No, he's down on the right. Oh my gosh. Here he comes, here he comes, here yep. he comes. Chop again. Come on. Every time you freaking lay down. Oh, here comes one. Ooh. Where is he? Is he just dead? Is he on you? He's on you. Big one. Here he comes. Oh, here he is. Oh, I can see him. Clear as day. He's coming to yours. He's coming to yours. He's down. He's coming to yours. Oh, he's coming to yours. Come on, come on, please. Oh, I can still see him, dude. I can still see him. Look down there, you can see him. I'm gonna drop all the way to the bottom, see if he'll go all the way down. He comes here, he's on it. Where is he? No way this fish doesn't turn around again. Unreal. Here he comes. I'm gonna drop all the way to the bottom, see if he'll go down with it. You stay high. Here he comes. Should I leave it on the bottom? Bounce it on the bottom. Watch, I'll just try to burn it up. Come on. No, he's still sitting there. That's a huge fish. Maybe you put your jig and wrap back yeah, on. Put my jig back on. Dude, he was so close. That was by far the longest time we've ever had a fish just circle our baits. I tried hiding the, the uh, swim bait on the bottom. I've heard that works. Uh, most of the time, you just burn it up and they come up and eat it. He kept trailing it all the way up, but he wouldn't commit. That was insane. We got him up so high, dude. All right, guys, so we just made it back to the car now and we are headed home. We got like three hours and 45 minutes till we get back to GR, but um, it was a good day, a little bit disappointing, a little bit frustrating with that wind. That wind just picked up out of nowhere. Unfortunately, that brought our day to a close a lot earlier than we were hoping for. On our way back in, um, we had about a mile walk back in it into the wind as well, and that was miserable. But luckily, we had some gentlemen that were kind enough to stop and give us a ride back the rest of the way. Um, and we talked to them, and it was interesting because they said that they were, they were all locals. They lived up here, fished up here for years. And they said that spot we were both fishing in was typically really good, but for the last like week or so, the bite was just off. And like they had the same exact thing that we did this morning. They said they marked about five fish and not a single one would come up and bite the bait. They'd just come up and look at it or just swim by. So um, I guess it's a little reassuring to know that it wasn't just us that like couldn't get them to commit and couldn't get them to eat. Um, they said the bite was really hot the last like week or two or week and a half. So. Um, it looks like the timing just wasn't quite quite right for us, but it was a lot of fun. Um, definitely a good learning experience, and I don't think that'll be our last time up here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Real quick before we wrap this video up, if you guys are looking for a sunglass company, I highly recommend um, these shades right here. They're Waterland. You can use my discount code linked down below in the description of this video to get 15% off um, any of their apparel or any of their sunglasses. So if you're looking to get some new sunglasses, definitely go check them out. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of it today. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.